Harry sends Meghan in ultimate shame as Madly prevents her wicked intention to save reputation. Prince William and Prince Harry set their year-long feud aside to honour their grandmother, the Queen, last month. But sources say the ceasefire is now very much over. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's surprise walkabout with Prince William and Kate Middleton happened months ago. But some royal fans still haven't gotten over how the Duke of Sussex seemingly held onto his wife's back a little bit too long. The gesture paved the way for the public to speculate on the real reason why Prince Harry refused to let go of Markle at the time. Those who've been following Prince Harry and Meghan Markle know that the couple is very affectionate towards each other. In fact, they've always engaged in public displays of affection, or PDAs, unlike Prince William and Kate Middleton. But during their walkabout last month, eagle-eyed netizens saw how Prince Harry held onto Markle's back tightly. They were convinced that the dad of two was trying to make sure that his wife wouldn't walk ahead or upstage the Prince and Princess of Wales. But according to body language analyst Spidey, this might not necessarily be the case. He said that there was a really slow breakaway from Prince Harry's end and he moved from his wife's right side to her left before reaching out for her as he passed. If Prince Harry wanted to prevent Markle from walking ahead of Prince William and Middleton, he would have pulled or held onto his wife's back more quickly. The touchy-feely gesture between the couple was their way of comforting each other. After all, they had just lost the Queen. Spidey also pointed out that during the walkabout, Prince Harry's attention was focused on the mourners that they were talking to and not on his brother and sister-in-law. However, there's no discounting the fact that Prince Harry and Markle were both uncomfortable during the walkabout. At one point, the Duchess of Sussex was seen flicking her hair and clasping her hands, which are indications that she wasn't very comfortable. She also rubbed Prince Harry's thumb to show him her support. It was her thumb rubbing Harry's in the clasp to show the need for support had shifted from her to him. A new book has laid bare the shocking reason Prince Harry ignored his brother's text messages in reconciliation efforts, catapulting their hostilities back into the headlines. Sources tell Harry is said to be furious that a text conversation with his brother has made its way into the public domain via respected royal journalist Valentine Lowe. He reveals that Harry cruelly snubbed an offer from William to meet up and discuss their differences after the Sussexes confirmed during their tour to South Africa that there were indeed direct tensions with the then Duke and Duchess of Cambridge. We're certainly on different paths at the moment, Harry sneered at the time. A former military officer for the Queen was given a royal telling off after Prince William had to give him a piece of his mind. The Prince believed that the man at the centre of the row could have prevented Megxit. Sir Christopher Gate, the former military intelligence officer for the Queen, served the royal family loyally for 15 years. He took the position of private secretary before he was forced to quit in 2017 after a big bust-up between King Charles and Prince Andrew. He claims that Lord Gate was treated unkindly through his dismissal, so much that Prince William felt the need to speak up on behalf of his family friend and colleague. The book suggests that Prince William spoke to the head of the monarch's household, Lord Chamberlain, Earl Peel, and made his feelings well known. Multiple sources have claimed that Lord Gates' departure left such a gaping hole in the monarchy households and workings that it was damaged beyond repair. He had the Queen's ear, and his leaving meant that communication between the Queen and other family members failed, which reportedly paved the way for Harry and Meghan's departure from the royal family.